For this set of notes, please title them 2.7 Nouns, Proper, and Common. The first thing that you're going to record is the definition of noun. A noun names a person, place, thing, or idea. There are several types of nouns. The first type of noun that we're going to discuss is a singular noun. A singular noun names one person, place, thing, or idea. A plural noun names more than one person, place, thing, or idea. Plural nouns are usually formed by adding an S or ES to the singular form of the noun. Now I'd like you to record some examples of singular and plural nouns. The first noun is student. Student is the singular form of this noun. The plural form of this noun is students. The next noun is bench. The singular form of this noun is bench. The plural form of this noun is benches. The next noun is hotel. That is a singular noun. The plural form of this noun is hotels. And for the last example, the singular noun is truth, and the plural form of that noun is truths. In addition to singular and plural nouns, we also have proper and common nouns. Proper nouns name a specific person, place, thing, or idea. Common nouns Name any person, place, thing, or idea. This table gives us some examples of proper and common nouns. For example, if we have the proper noun Barack Obama, the common noun would be man. Detroit is a proper noun because it is the specific name of a city. The common noun would be city because it could refer to any city. RSLA is a proper noun because it refers to our school. The common noun would be school because it could refer to any school. For the proper noun, civil rights movement, we know that this refers to a movement that took place from the mid-1950s into the mid-1960s. And the common noun that could be used to describe this movement is a revolution. 